اكد كده من السلف دخل السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, uh, I hope and I wish that you have a good and prosperous life and uh, all your life is peaceful whatever you are and whenever you are inshallah today is a follow up of my talk was about two weeks ago about uh, the project of change or the change project or what we call the critical mass or the mass which can make the change. The change. Yeah, and this is today is part two of this, which you call it the letter, which you said A, B, C, D, the idea and the change project. First of all, definitely, ultimately, we have to, to thank my team who is preparing all this kind of good work for me, Ahmed al-Sheikh from Idlib, uh, Maher from Antakya, and Abdurrahman from Birmingham. Young people, if they start believing in themselves, they can make the change in different speciality, different field, different zonal location, different time as well. This is the image which I'm trying to explain to you today after we explain the change two weeks ago, the project of change or the change project. When you look at this, uh, the title itself, the structure of the idea, the structure of the idea. When you look at this white structure here, This is the idea that we have at the back of our mind. You and me have to look microscopically deep inside such an idea and look at its components, its structure, its dimensions, its philosophy, its culture. Idea is not just some, some seed that you can throw anywhere to make a tree might not happen or might happen but you have to build and look at the structure of the idea around such idea is the map which you can see the yellow on this image on the top or the right hand side in the map where you can map your idea there's a difference between mapping your idea within the structure of the idea then making a road map to change such idea into a project. Coming back, structure in the middle, you can see the white, the map you make around the structure to start create this kind of big map to look at the different dimension of it. Then you look here at the road map, which is these lines, this, the blue, the green, the yellow, with the interruption in the middle, which is the different stages of the roadmap. If an idea has a structure, component, I have to look at it. Don't come and tell me, yes, what? You tell me yes, I will tell you what. You tell me what do you mean by what? I tell you, you said yes. Yes for what? Great idea. Look at it. Structure it. Look at every small component inside the idea and come back to me. To make the map around it, who are the people going to be with you to help you then getting out from the map surrounding the idea into the road map which you change the idea into projects, programs, change. Let me ask this question again. The letter, 
A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Is such a letter is considered to be a nucleus, as you can read here? Cell, seed, or element? A letter. When the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu want each and every one of you read the Quran and tell us for each word, for each letter, you read 10 blessings and more. And he said ALM or Alif Lam Mim. A is the letter, L is the letter, M is the letter. Alif Lam Mim is not one letter. So the letter, sorry, the letter is what? It's the nucleus, it's the cell, it's the element, it's the seed. The outcome of the seed will be jungles, forests, plantation everywhere, habitats for different creation of God. The outlook of the cell and the nucleus will be the creation of man. Male and female cells become zygotes, become leash, become, become become man and woman, become elephant, become lion, become zebra, become tiger. Okay? This is the cells and the nucleus. The seed become, as I said, jungles and forest and everything and this habitat. The element made the materials, copper, iron, zinc, aluminium, coal, all this kind of structure that Allah has given us. So your idea is this. You have to look at it and change it from the letter. The letter, the letter is an encyclopedia. The letter is a history. The letter is making the knowledge for you. This is the meaning of it. So today we'll look microscopically inside the idea and look at the component structuring and building the idea. We talked about this. Idea structure. First of all, if I want to look at my idea, what it is about or what is it about? My idea, I should make a structure and make a map for my idea. To go back to this, this is the idea, and this is the map surrounding the idea, my idea, and this is the road map which will implement my idea. First of all, in the structure of my idea and your idea, her idea and your idea, okay? What values being put inside the structure of my ideas? What principles that I adopt inside the structure of my idea? What culture my idea is having and showing? What philosophy of thinking behind my idea? Don't stop at just regurgitating an idea, but look deep at the value, principles, culture, philosophy. Before you start talking about the aims, this is the foundation of your idea, value, principle, culture, philosophy. They will tell you, those people, they think this way because they're brought up in, in this culture, in this society, in this country. Philosophically, they have to think this way. This is your idea in the middle. Your values, your principles, your culture, your aims. After that, you tell me what is the aims of your ideas. You want to fight poverty? You want to bring water to desert? You want to plant the desert? You want to eradicate uh, uh, illnesses or uh, ignorance or illiteracy? You want to protect women and children? You want to empower people? 
you want to fight the unemployment uh, problem and so on. This is the aims. You have to put it clear after putting this for. After that, what is the dimension, dimension of the aims of the idea? Do you come to my area just to bring water to the household community? Or to make water available to everybody? Or to make water available for animals and birds and as well as agriculture and plantation as well as a human being? Then what is the impact of this on the climate? This is the dimension. So you look about the climate. You keep looking dimensionally to the growth, the wider growth, which could be vertical, could be horizontal, could be diagonal, could be circumferential of your idea. Don't ever sit on an idea and say, that's a great. Go and use your microscope to look inside every corner and every space of such an idea as a structure. Dimension, contents. The contents, how are you going to build the building? You want to have a concrete and bricks building or you have beam and steel building? If you want to have a concrete and bricks building, you need to get the cement, you need to get the sand, you need to get the rubble, you need to get the uh, gyp gy gypsum, you need to get uh, steel as well. You need to get a lot of things to build the building, you need to get bricks as well, and so on. It's the content inside to make the building. The components, contents and components of the building. Do you want to make this building residential? You want to make this building a commercial? You want this building a market? You want this building a, a, what do you call it, a cinema or a theater? And so you have to divide it into different uh, structural uh, components. The shape of the idea, when you come out to the community, People need to look at your idea as a being. Look at it, yeah. Oh, yes, great. Oh, no, what is this? Oh, what is that? You have to understand how people look at your idea, not only listening at you when you talk about your idea. The people see your idea as a being. They listen to you to explain what being are they going to benefit from such a being. What the beings, which are the people, will be benefiting from the being of this being. You got it? I'm not that I confuse you. How do you look at you? Then you have to look at the variabilities around you. Your idea is great, but look at the society around you. Look about the changing, daily changes happening in the society around you. They're changing everything. If you have got a million people in your society, you have got one million variable. If you have got more than, more than the people themselves, they've got animals, they've got birds, they've got uh, uh, agriculture. It's all variables are affecting all these community components. Okay? You have to understand the surrounding. Then you have to draw an expectation. What will happen if what will happen if not? This expectation has to be put on the roadmap, as we agreed before. Then your failure, my failure, your success and my success. This has to be measured as well and be expected. Then after that, you look at the output. Output is a product. And what value of this product on your society? Does your society need such a product? or this product is being provided by other people. Then after that, you look at the impact of your product, of the, which is the outcome of your idea, on such a society. So you know, when you zoom in with me, when you zoom in by yourself with your electronic or ultra microscope to see the minute details of the structure of your idea, you can have this 20 and more. Values, principles, culture, philosophy, aims, dimension, content, components, shape, variabilities, 
expectation, failures, output, and impact. This is the structure of the idea. Come back to the letter, the idea and the change. The letter, as I mentioned earlier, is A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. We talked about the idea before and how the letter become a change maker. If we want to make the change, we have to believe in the process of change. As we mentioned this two, year, two weeks ago, in Arabic and English. You have to believe in it. Then you have to deal with the letter as a being. You have to, leave, to, 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 to believe in it as a being, the letter. Because you are going to use it to make the change. which is here. Then you change the letter into a word. F-A-T-H-E-R is father. M-O-T-H-E-R is mother. There's a role for the mother. There's a role for the father. B-R-O-T-H-E-R is a brother. There's a role for the brother. F-R-I-E-N-D is a friend. There's a role for the friend. W-I-F-E is a wife. There's a role for the wife. S O N, the son is the role for the son. D A U G H A R is the role for my daughter, and so on. So we changed the letter into a word which has a function in the community. You got it here? This is how you look at when you make the change. Start from the letter, the letter, the nucleus, the element, the cell, the seed. And this kind of word, which should be understood, we have to understand what we are talking about. Knowledge. 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 Knowledge comes from learning. Which is, go to understanding. Creating data. Changing data into science. Different sciences. Astronomy. Mathematics, Algebra, English, Arabic, French, Philosophy, Arts, Music, Science, Botany, Science, Science, Military, Science, Transportation, Science. All this come from here, from changing the, so the education process the, word, the letter into word, understanding data, science, and then making such impressive encyclopedia. You know what do you mean by encyclopedia? I mentioned it in Arabic half an hour ago. Is if we have a country, suppose that we are living in a country like uh, Iraq, or like Egypt, or like uh, England. The capital is London, is Birmingham, Manchester, Liverpool, Southampton, Glasgow, Edinburgh, Aberdeen, and so on, so on, so on. So Sacrobodia means that the people who will be able to write the history on the 5th of September at year 500, we record the incident at the same time, the same day, cross board and keep it in a safe place to make the encyclopedia. Should not be able, it should not be only made by a group of people who are sitting in the central office, dictated by the political atmosphere of the governing body. This is where we fail, and each government write, uh, writes the history the way it likes. No way. From Aberdeen or Shetland Island into down south to Brighton, to Wales, to others. And every city writes its own encyclopedia to protect this community from misunderstanding the history of their country. Realization. When you read this encyclopedia, you realize 
You be aware. Awareness is a challenge because awareness will let you to face and to be obstructed by many challenges of the corrupt society, of the corrupt organization, of the corrupted government. Realization and awareness are the key for creating future leaders. Here, if I go before we starting the, we're talking about leadership, we, we, we go to, to, through, through this process of learning, working, understanding, writing, realizing, and the one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten steps before you become a leader. Don't come and tell me that he's my son or she's my daughter. I want her to become a leader. No way. Don't come and tell me that she's from my tribe and who's from my tribe. No way. Or from my jama'ah and I'm from, or he's from my jama'ah. No way. Leadership is a process of creation, of creation of the individual who either he or she will be able to carry the responsibility. Through knowledge, through education, through experience, through interaction, through serving, through bending their back, through a set of principles, through a set of values that we have to give our people who become leaders. What's happening nowadays in certain countries has nothing to do with leadership. It's madship. Mad, you know mad? Mad cow disease? Exactly like that. Building. Why building comes after leadership? Because the leader is going to build society. It's his responsibility. Society that can maintain the existence of life and inspire the life of every component of every being of such a society. Because if we do not empower and encourage and motivate every being in the society, including the non-human, so our society will cease to exist. Life. Then, once you are there stable, because the process of change is always on the move, leader will be able to make the change, which can change the culture, and can build the renaissance and the civilization of our country. So this kind of leadership based on knowledge, based on learning, based on experience, based on an interaction. Let's go deep microscopically into your idea, sister and the brother, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, or girls and boys, mother and fathers, and go deep down with your microscope to look at the minute details of the idea that can change your country and my country and our humanity and our society. Then when we make the ultimate change, we we'll write history, or history will be talking about that. We we'll go back to basics, back to the letter, and back to the world again. Because the cycle has to go on and on and on. That's why the magic word given to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu when he Quran was revealed to him was read. Read does not stop at the literacy of it, but at the creation of knowledge. Different kind of knowledge, different kind of education, different kind of data. Don't stop at just read. No. Read is knowledge, it's creation of data, is creation of science, and is changing of the society. Now we need to talk about the, what is the relation between our education system and the change-making process. First of all, are we living in a stable society? Are we living in a sustainable society? Is our state stable or not? This will be the key cornerstone for us. Because if we have a stable state, we'll be able, through the educational system, to do the following. First of all, it will give us bigger civil liberty space. It will give us bigger democratic dimension or wider or space. It's number one. That's a stable society, state. It, strengthen the independent, the ind it will strengthen the independence of the civil society organization. Build the independence to monitor the performance of the private sector as well as the government. 
it will make the state institution independent. So they can monitor and correct and stop the corruption inside the state itself. Okay? It will raise the level of awareness and realization and loyalty to the country. That's the independent state. That is a stable state. Okay? And it will make the it will make media institution independent, which is very serious nowadays. Raising awareness, realization, loyalty. It will look at the education methodology. Does the education methodology meet the people or the youth of this century or not? Okay? Then the curriculum, education, the program, and this, does, it, is it, does it match the need of the community? Do you want how many workers, professional workers, professional doctors, nurses, commercial uh, teachers to come out of the educational system every year? Relationship between education community and needs of productivities, okay? All these kind of things tell, telling us that education is the cornerstone of making any change. From the letter A to the encyclopedia, from the letter A to the science and technology, from the letter A to innovation and the industry, from the letter A to everything in the society. So coming back to conclude, Look at the letter, at the change-making process or tool. Look at the nucleus and the cell as the change-making tool. Look at the seed as the change-making tool. Look at the idea as a structured change-making tool. All these what we need to let us, let our young men and women to understand that small idea might have a very complicated, minute structure that we cannot see it by our own eyes unless we use the ultra-electronic microscope. So don't, don't, don't waste your idea. Don't throw it. Don't use it immaturely without understanding what it is about if you want to make the change. May Allah bless you, inshallah. Jazakum Allah khair. See you next week, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.